hello guys and happy Saturday. It's the 31st of July today, the last day um, of a Zoom month. Jim's just there filling up the van. Um, we are just about to set off to the Lake Districts. We're gonna have another weekend in the lakes. Well, Sunday, Monday, Saturday night, Sunday, and coming home Monday. Um, gonna go on a nice little walk tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd bring you along as usual, even though I'm, it is sort of like four o'clock in the afternoon, so I'm starting today's vlog pretty late. Um, I'm not uh, counting my calories today, guys. I kind of like, yesterday was my way in and I've kind of been reflecting about what I should be doing and just feeling a little bit lackluster about my weight loss, my um, sort of efforts with my weight loss and stuff even though a lot of you have reached out and said that I've had a lot going on and stuff and I shouldn't be too hard on myself which is super kind of you so thank you if you if you did reach out and offer some support um but I spent this morning making making sort of like a weight loss journal I've brought it along with me with the idea that every month I will set new goals for the month, create little little calendars that I can um, fill in. I thought I'd just quickly show you it. So here it is. It's really hard to see, but on the front it says, quiet the mind and the soul will speak, which I think is really lovely and it's got this nice mandala. Um, so I'm planning on doing something nice with this sort of intro page, but for now I've just put weight loss pen there. I've got my August goals, which are four gym workouts per week, stick to 1,300 calorie goal every day except the seventh, which is, it's um, my nephew's, uh, not my nephew's, my cousin's birthday party. Try your best to eat low carb, but don't, don't sweat it if you eat some bread. Calories are priority. Uh, create a YouTube schedule. So what I mean by calories are priority, I think what I'm gonna do for now, just while I get into a bit of a better routine and whatnot, is uh, take my macro goals off my fitness pal and just concentrate on, hi. Hi. Just concentrate on my calories. Um, and I think that will really help. It is obviously important to me to be in balanced and um, like I don't want to be eating loads of sort of starchy carbs and whatnot but I think I think I'm getting a little bit hung up with that and I think in essence calories in and calories out it works so um, I think for a little while anyway I'm just gonna focus on um, just trying to make sure I'm not going over my calorie goal um, but still sort of like be mindful about the amount of carbs I'm eating am I getting a decent amount of protein and blah 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 but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get too hung up on it um, what else and I've also got this little August workout tracker so I've created uh, a little calendar and every day that I do a workout I can give myself a little heart. I'm aiming to have at least four a week and I've also done days stuck to my calorie goal. Obviously the seventh is a planned off day. Uh, my little key is down here so hopefully at the end of August this will be full of little orange hearts um, and that's it for now but after my after my way in on um, Friday, I had a little chat with Jim and he, he made sort of like a lot of sense and said I should start writing things down and making it more accountable. So I'm gonna do like an accountable August, if you will. So fingers crossed, it'll help sort of re-inspire me and, and just keep me on track and whatnot. Because it's obviously even more so important now with all the Lipedema situation but yeah I'm gonna go and just enjoy the journey we're gonna listen to our audio book um, which is the troll slayer is it called the troll slayer it is. yeah uh, and yeah I'm not like I said I'm not counting calories today I might show you what I eat later but I might not um, 
but as of tomorrow I'm going to be sticking to my goal every day hopefully Happy Sunday. Today is actually the 1st of August, so happy August to you all. Um, I had a really good night's sleep and woke up a little bit later than we usually do when we're camping. It's actually 9 o'clock at the moment, um, but it's fine because there's no time limit on the day. Um, and I've just made us a cup of tea, and that is with oat milk, and I have some sweetener in mine, which is actually. It's an organic sweetener made from plants. I can't remember the name of it, but I know that it was like a zero calorie one. Um, and I've also got one of these little oh so simple pots, which is the honey and vanilla flavor. So if you watched my last camping hiking vlog, you'll already know that I have zero telephone signal here and the calorie counting app that I use called My Fitness Pal uses um, the internet to work to be able to sort of like look through the food database and blah blah blah. Um, I did want to sort of like pre-input everything but I just didn't get time for it. So what I am doing is I've opened a note on my phone. Let me flip it. I've opened a note on my phone and I'm just noting down everything so that when I do get signal at some point I can input it and make sure it's all correct. So my cup of tea was 57 calories and my oats so simple pot is 213 so that's a total of 270. So I'm going to go and enjoy this now but happy Sunday. just set off um, and the weather is lovely we seem to be really lucky with the weather um, but the forecast said it was 80% chance of rain so I've got all my waterproofs with me just in case because it's good to be well prepared um, Jim's planned the route again as usual so I have a bit of an idea where we're going, but I usually just leave it up to him. He's well, a navigator. It's, uh, it's not as hard as it was going to be. Hello, Mr. Sheep. I just think. <laughs> yeah. Hello. That's exactly I just what I was think thinking. Sometimes, you know, you can come back another day and do, you know, the, the other three. Well, we're going to do a, a six peak day again, but I'm going through a bit of something. So I just think, you know, why make it hard for yourself when you're already in a... It's still going to be a, still going to be effort, but yeah, yeah, it's not as much. Good. So if you just pan round and look at the charm. So we're going to go up this middle gully, up to the top of the ridge there, which is going to be quite a climb. We've done it before, haven't we? Uh, yeah. Uh, but then instead of going, we came this way to uh, Scarfell, Scarfell, and we turned right and went right around the back. This today, this day, <laughs> we're going to turn left and we're going to come along the ridge to Glaramara and down uh, over Allen Crags, sorry, and then to Glaramara and then down to uh, Roth, Rothdale Fell which is called Messy Boo, Messy Boo, yeah. just doing the do, <laughs> and, then, and then come down into uh, 
see Tolla in the Borrowdale Valley. But and then just walk on the road back to the farm. Yeah. Ten miles. We've set off we've set, we've set off at ten, it's now twenty past, so we'll still get a good day's walking, but also I it's a certain part of my cycle, my lady cycle, which um I always feel a lack of energy. Um so it's probably better. Go on, you keep talking. It's probably better to have a bit less of a more strenuous walk. Um Yeah, so just thought I'd check in and say we'd set off. Hopefully I'll get to see uh, I'll get to show you some really lovely views and stuff in the uh, the rain holds back until at least we get back to camp. But either way, fun, fun, fun. A bit of climbing um, just looking at great end for when we do come back and do it which is this one behind me there there is a little bit of a you can't really see but in here there's a bit of a path to get up to it but yeah feeling a lot more energized now thankfully and pretty much, we're, we're pretty much at the top, aren't we? Still got a little bit to go. A little bit. But I think most of the hard work is out of the way. Hopefully I haven't spoke too soon. <laughs> but yeah, weather's still great, feeling good. Um, yeah, all is well. How are you feeling, Jim? Good. 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 Just a little. So we're just about to come to the can, can, however you want to pronounce it, can, can of um, Alan Crag. The view is Alan. 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 Oh. The view is oh. amazing. Alan. Uh, this Alan. is what's it called? What's this called again? Spring. Uh, sprinkling, town. sprinkling town. That's it. That's great end. This is great end. That's Great Gable over there. That's Jim. And then on this side, wow. You probably can't um, see on camera because it doesn't pick it up as amazing, but that's the Peak District over there. Looks incredible, right? Let's go. Let's go touch this can. Have you really? Sunglasses or reading glasses? Oh no! Oh, what a shame! Reading glasses. Oh, you look like. Uh, if they're yours, if you're watching, sorry. You look like a uh, Superman. Right, gotta touch the can. There we go. Make it official. Well done, babe. There's one. There's one down. And I tell you what, that breeze, oh, you couldn't pay for how good that feels. So nice. So we've just stopped for a spot of lunch and we have a, a roll with some hummus, some corn chicken, a bit of salad, uh, some of these roasted onion and turmeric sun bites. A little wedge of cheese and a 
we've got a oats, oats and honey, uh, crunchy Nature Valley bar, and I've popped it all in on my phone. You can't see that, but I've recorded it, and the total is 750 calories. Um, and I'll just show you our view, our lunchtime view. So, we're going to go and enjoy some lunch. So we've just had quite a fun scrambly climb down um, from Glaramara, uh, which was interesting. But we made a really good team. At points we had to like pass packs down and uh, gym sort of planned the route which was good. Just to let you all know, I'm having a really bad time with it. I've got stomach cramps, diarrhea, the lot. Jim's not very well. This. Literally four times I've had to wild poo. <laughs> oh no. Um, so all I want to do is get down. So um, we're gonna we're gonna hopefully take the quickest route down. I must have caught a tummy bug or something. Yeah. Uh, but thankfully we're not too far away from um no. But these things aren't pleasant at best of time. No, exactly. <laughs> when yeah. you're navigating down a sheer rock face, it's, it, it actually took my mind off it for half an hour. I know, which is good, but... Uh, well, I'll stop complaining and get Don't complain. Well, I mean, it, when you're not feeling well, it's awful, isn't it? Yep. It's not good at all. Um, my ankle was a bit iffy, but it feels, it feels all right at the minute, which is really good, because I was a bit miffed at thinking that oh god it's going to do that thing again and it's going to be painful to get down and whatnot but oh yeah i'll turn you i don't know what that noise was yeah was a... yeah i'll turn you around so you can see there we go obviously as usual it doesn't look as impressive on camera um but just take my word for it it was gnarly but it was Right, so hopefully it won't be too long and we'll get back, back at the camp. So we have made it down and we're on a flat road, just walking back towards the campsite. Thank goodness for that. It's not often I'm waiting for a walk to end. I love walking. When you're not feeling well though, it just really... I think one of the things is... These mountains are so hot, they're so big, they're so like out of the way of everything. And it's a lot, it's, you know, the amount of time and amount of effort it's going to take to get down. So when you're not feeling great, in whatever capacity it is, it knocks your morale as well. So, well, not the altitude only... gets you as well. Yeah. I've been behind a rock four times. <laughs> Never been caught short like that on a mountain. God, it was horrendous. It's uh, so good to be down and heading back towards camping. Yeah, home, home stretch this. It's kind of, I feel loads better now. What's that? Is that a leaf? Oh, it's something on <laughs> Um. Half a mile to go. Yeah, half a mile to go. Just checking in, we are back to camp and um, we actually went and had a bit of a wash and well, I say wash, it was a bit of like a bathe in the stream. Again, that's just behind where we are camped. It was, excuse me, it's very cold, um, but very refreshing. Jim's filling up the air conditioner, not, <clears throat> there's nothing else happening in the background. So yeah, so just a relaxing evening ahead now. We're going to have I've got like a tin of vegetable, I think it's chickpea curry and I've got some, I have realised as well, I said Naked Glory for this brand but I feel like it's called, what's it called? It's not Naked Glory at all. I think you're right, I think it is Naked Glory. Taste and glory. All oh, right, there is a naked glory one. There is, isn't there? But basically, you've got some of this, which is plant-based 
chicken and where is it? So we're gonna go with the citronella and this vegetable curry which we're gonna mix together for tea. Yeah, citronella. And then it should keep all the bugs away from us, shouldn't it? Should do. Fingers crossed. Um Oh, it smells good already. Jim's feeling better, thankfully. Oh, God, yeah. Loads better, are Totally aren't you? different, yeah. Like it never happened. <laughs> Cut the sun again on my face. Looking very brown. Yeah, you are. What's the time? quarter past six so yeah we're just gonna is that is that on aircon or is it just on a, like a fan it's aircon it just needs time to just time to cool down you've put hot you've put like normal water in it as well haven't you i think you usually have to put cold water in yeah normal water fine and don't you have to freeze the pads that are in it no really well, it's getting cold now Yeah, it is. Wow. That's nice. That's nice and refreshing, isn't it? Um, so let me put you on top of my curry and I'll tell you what we've done. So we've done 35,384 steps. The total calories that I've burnt today, this is not this is not just from the walk this is just in total um it's 4275 let's have a look um we've done 14.4 miles we've climbed 268 floors this blows my mind because i actually i actually use the stair machine at the gym and i aim to get to like 20 floors or something could probably go for longer but if i had to do it to 268 obviously i've been walking and hiking all day but it's just it blows my mind that um what else is that, it? Is that all i've got to tell you yeah um just in case oh your ankle's been all right yeah got back and my ankle was fine babe will you just pass me my phone please and i'll just let them know what my colour is for tea is just in case I get too tired and don't end up filming. Mm -hmm. Thank you, love. Uh, so the chickpea curry is 154 calories and the Taste and Glory chicken for half pack is 118. But I'm going to go chill now. Like I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to film anything else today. We'll see. Something interesting might happen. Um, but it's been a great hike. Obviously, I didn't like the fact that Jim wasn't feeling too well. But I'm good now. But you're fine now. I think altitude and um, exposure, you know, make anything that might be slightly wrong with you. Oh, that smells amazing. I'm sorry. That's nice. Yeah, well done. And we made a really good team scrambling down that crag. High five. Were you proud of me? I did Always it and didn't freak you. out. Yeah. Yeah, because we had to take his packs off to him. Irish spider bag. <laughs> spider padda, spider padda. Climbing down the craggy crag. Spider padda, spider padda. Climbing. She had to give Jim her heavy bag. Heavy bag. Spider panda. Climbing down She didn't fall and break her bag. <laughs> 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 Yeah, so great day, great, great day. Um, what did we do? We did, don't tell me. Alan, Alan. Yeah, we did uh, Alan, Alan. Alan Crag. We did uh, G G Glamara. Calamara. Glamara. That's the story in Glamara. Yeah, 
so excuse me really i think we can that. actually when we get back we're going to actually scratch them off the map i so am I'll so show glad you. we didn't do the walk i'd planned me too because because you wouldn't have been very well at no, all no, and it would have been a lot further no. so yeah um i'm not going to say goodbye because i might film something else but Baba. if not i'll see you in the morning Good morning campers, happy Sunday. It's the 2nd of August. Monday. Ah, Monday, happy Monday. <laughs> it's the 2nd of August today. Had a really great night's sleep. Jim woke me up at three o'clock in the morning, but with good reason, because there was the most amazing stars. It was incredible. Like the stars here, because we're in a valley and because there's no, there's no light pollution whatsoever. Oh, there's, no. there's no light pollution. Um, it just looks incredible. We actually saw part of the Milky Way. Is that right? Yeah. It's really good. It was worth waking up at three in the morning to do. Um, well, we're part of the Milky Way, aren't we? Actually, but like we saw the. The, sort of the, the cloud. Towards the centre of it with the billions of stars. It's like a cloud, isn't it? Of stars that you can't really see because it's so far away. Yeah, but you could actually see like the formation of it. It was incredible. Um, I was thinking about getting my camera, but I was really tired and I was just taking it in. Uh, so sorry about that. Just Google Lake District Starry Sky if you want to see what it was like. Um, I've just woke up, I've made myself, well I haven't just woke up actually, that's a lie, because the time is, time, I can't look at it, it's my Fitbit died, it is 5 to 9, uh, I've been up for quite a while, I think I've been up since about 7ish, um, just chilling in bed, and made myself an oat milk coffee, and just contemplating what we're going to have for breakfast. I'm kind of really sad that we're not going on a hike today. I'm really in the mood to go walking. Um, but we have to get back because the van is in at the mechanics at three o'clock for just some routine stuff that needs to be done, nothing major. Um, so yeah, I have to get back for that. So no hiking, unfortunately. So we'll never love the day. We've been so fortunate with the weather. Uh, on the way down, I had a look at the, at the forecast for yesterday and it said 80% chance of rain and it always rains in the lakes. It's like the most weather it has. So I was pretty, and it's rained all week as well at home, so I was pretty adamant that it was gonna rain here. However, yesterday, as you can tell by my glowing face, was glorious sunshine so yeah really really lucky with the Lakeland weather at the moment aren't we and it, I haven't had one opportunity to use them um, waterproof over trousers that I got on our anniversary <laughs> which is unbelievable isn't it? I know um, I'm sure that won't be long Can't long lived so I think the plan is oh by the way just while we're on the subject of coffee um, I think the coffee granules is about 10 calories, uh, the oat milk is about 57 and the sweetener that I put in is zero calories, so that would make 67 calories for my coffee. Just pan round again, show them what we did yesterday. I think, did we not show them last uh, night? Maybe, I'm just looking at it again. Go ahead then, mister. You do your magic. Okay. Don't put your hand over the microphone. I don't know where the microphone is. Just hold the, the side of it with the grips. <laughs> there you go. So straight over the middle. And then along. And along and along and along and along. And down. And down. And, back and then we came back along with like a, a straight route back into the farm there. Which didn't, obviously it takes a few seconds to pan around, but it took us eight and a half hours, didn't it? It did. You got your your tea. Jim has honey in his tea. It's non it's non refined, isn't it? 
-hmm. Honey is the natural thing. I'm, look, I'm not saying I don't have sugar when there's sugar about, but I've realised very recently that why not honey? If you're going to sweeten something up, why not use something that uh, our mates, the bees, have made? Mm -hmm. That's a fair point. Um, so Jim's thinking about having tomato soup for breakfast. That's strange, isn't it? Well, I just I fancied something with a little bit of flavour. I might even have that uh, winter vegetable soup. Mm, that is good, the Crescent Blackwell one. Yeah, I'm feeling something like... Uh, I'm, a, I'm actually with you, you know. I'm thinking I might join you with that. Soup for breakfast, who would have funked it? I did really well with the food situation this this time. I have, I didn't overbuy and I didn't overbring, so the fridge is pretty much almost empty. It's a good way to live though because you eat what you've got. Yeah, and then there's not masses of waste and stuff. And when you get back, there's not masses of unpacking. And the fridge is bare at home, ready for me to do a food shop. Of, I think I'm gonna do a food plan when I get home today, which we know because works we have, really well. Have become Around food, well, we need it to survive. Yeah, no, we, 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 and I'm not just talking about you or me or anyone else, but we all, we all get a bit obsessed with it, don't we? It's like mm. we're only two minutes away from food at any point, aren't we? I think you need to. I think we, we as a race and we as humans need to work. We need to put in for our reward. If we don't, it becomes taken for granted in a world of now, right now, I want it now. Philosophy now. with Jim on a Monday morning. <laughs> Tune in every Monday at 9am. I know what you mean though, yeah. Uh, but I think, I think I work really well when uh, I plan my meals and things, so I'm going to do that this, Maybe on the way home, maybe on the way home, I'll plan my meals out and then at some point today, maybe go grocery shopping or whatever. Um, so I'm still sticking to my 1,300 calorie goal every day. If, if I've worked out quite significantly, let's say, um, I might let, allow myself to have an extra 100 calories or something if I feel like I need it, but I'm not going to make that like a habit or anything low carb as in just try my best to eat low carb and then at some point i'll start reintroducing macros back in but i think for now just to get myself just to kind of like streamline everything i'm just gonna stick to tracking my calories um and then once i get that nailed on i can start reintroducing my Protein, fat, and carbohydrate goal. So, I think that would be good. Wind's picking up, Ted. It's nice. It is, it's quite refreshing, isn't it? Yeah. The jets will be up soon. Benny and the Jets. You get a point if you let me know who sang Benny and the Jets in the comments. <laughs> but I'm going to go and make breakfast now, but happy Monday. So I have decided to have soup for breakfast along with Jim, which is an interesting thing, but who says soup's just for dinner and lunch, eh? Um, so some of you who are old timers here on my channel will remember my absolute ador, ador, admiration for this soup. Oh my God, guys, it is the best soup in the world. And it's literally, the the breakfast I'd already planned to have was one of the Quaker Oh So Simple Pots. Um, these things. And these are 214 calories per pot. And the soup is 256 calories per can. And I think that's a bit more of a hefty amount of food um, and plus it's what I fancy so that's what I'm going to have so we are all packed up and on our way home now um, 
we're gonna go straight home I think because like I said earlier the van is in for a little bit tinkering at the garage so yeah we have to get home for that so no stopping on the way but oh we might stop on the way we might stop for a cup of tea or something on the way maybe Snack. Snack a snack. What? Healthy snack. A snack. Um, plenty of time with with an hour behind schedule. So did you uh, enjoy? Did you enjoy your soup for breakfast? I really did. I loved it. What a great suggestion, Dave. Well, got rid of a bit of food, didn't it? We didn't have to start. And it's I quite. Still fancy porridge again. It's quite a healthy breakfast when you think about it. Yeah. I'm not, do you know, I'm not a fan of porridge, but I will eat it if I'm going on a long walk. Not that it did me a lot of good Do you know, I, I was just thinking, Jim Jim said I was very strong yesterday yeah. with my walking and whatnot. Um, there was a couple, couple of uh, a couple of differences between this week and last. One, my ankle. So you're saying I walked slow before my ankle hurt as well? Is that what you're saying the whole time? Uh, I'm saying that your pace when you're doing these things is slower than mine, mm. right? Maybe I'd that's agree. the experience, or maybe you know whatever the reason is. I'm usually waiting for you. Yeah, without a doubt. I'm usually sort of like waiting for you. But when I was really ill yesterday, and I don't know if it's because I was slower because I was ill or what, but your pace had doubled. It was like blistering. It was almost like, haha, he's ill. I'm going to double my pace. Do you know what I think it might be from? Last couple of times I've walked, I haven't really had much carbs beforehand. And the night before we walked, I was carb queen. Oh right, yeah. Well that will help, won't it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, maybe, maybe. That might have something to do maybe, with it. Maybe you've just maybe you're just getting stronger and I noticed Had a, a lot more yesterday because I was weak yesterday. Oh, it might just be to do with that then. Yeah, maybe. Dunno, we'll see you next time, eh? Yeah, I hope next time that we both feeling really strong let's make sure we do everything we can to get in that position where we're both feeling really really strong yeah i agree yeah. i agree a lot tell you what i'm looking forward to this week what i really i've got to remember like, what i really want to um, have for the mushroom pizza. oh yeah that's good and i think stir fry mushroom pizza nice stir fry Yeah, sizzle steaks and salad. Sizzle steaks and salad, that's a good tea. Butter bowl, that's good. Butter bowl, that's yeah, good like tea. Yeah, I like stir fry, bring that on. Bottle bella pizza, that's always good. And that's kind of it, isn't it? And on the weekend, do you want like a healthy roast? I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> You'll have a healthy roast. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, get one of those corn roast things. For Sunday, because yeah. I'll be feeling a little bit fragile, won't I, on Sunday, I think. Maybe. I've decided I'm DJing uh, next That's Saturday, it. is it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, would I would you like say it's sort of this Saturday? I would say Saturday. it's this Saturday, it's Saturday it? because it's the soonest one, so it's this one, isn't it? Mm. This and, Saturday. Um, I was thinking, right, oh, it'll be nice to get drunk DJ and whatever. I would just thought, well, for a few reasons, actually, that's not a good idea, you know. It's like I'd have to leave the van somewhere and the equipment somewhere and then just get drunk and probably lose my faculties. And I'm just thinking, that's a really stupid idea. Why don't you stay sober? You've got the DJ to keep you occupied, you know, and then you don't mess things up either. Um, and we won't be staying, like, all night long. We won't be doing the line all night, yeah. will we? Well, I think 12 o'clock and then the police don't get good because it is a house party, isn't it, as well? Every you don't weekend. really want to go in, it going on stupid. And, um, and if I'm drunk, I'll, I'll be like, oh yeah, we'll you, just do another hour. When, when, Jim, when Jim's uh, in that 
party mood really is in that party mood it really goes hell for leather I, so. used, I don't know if you know this about me but I used to be um, a professional DJ and I worked out in Ibiza and um, that's a, it feels like a different life now but I really knew how to party we um, like to party yeah. we like we like to party and I used to be a bit of a party animal um, yeah. so. actually not 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 in my like not in the years you would imagine so like sort of like mid 20s up until a couple of years ago but I'm like so I'm a shadow of my former self let's just put it that way in a good way though um so if I if I drink now I, I could ha happily sort of like have a ha have a couple of glasses of wine or maybe one beer and or a couple yeah, you know I'm, I'm not really like that I'm I, all or nothing I, I'm I'm quite I'm quite sensible now in that in that sense so I prefer not to drink, but if I'm in a social setting and I fancy a couple of glasses of wine, I, can, I know that I can, I know that I don't have to, like, down a, a litre of vodka and, you know, everything else that comes along I feel like that's so. No, 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 not at all. No, that was me multiple times a week, so. It was. Anyway, you are doing really well and you do have a couple of glasses and then you're fine, aren't you? Unfortunately, yeah. I can't do that. If I drink, I'm drinking to get, to drunk. get drunk. Yeah, so it goes back to those party days where I used to be pretty much drunk. 20%. So all you've got to do is 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 use that knowledge, haven't you? That you know. And, but you know, yeah. So I think I think a nice a nice roast, a nice healthy roast on Sunday would be, be would be good. So yeah. yeah. And I'll feel pretty good. I might take the dog for a walk and. Yeah, a nice, a nice Sunday gym session. Yeah, because it's the thing, oh, DJ and sober, that's for, that's for <coughs> losers. That's for professionals. That's for losers, and I used to be absolutely off my trolley. And I'd like always no think... No offense, by the way. It's all right. I'd always think I'd do my, like, my best sets when I were off my head. And people would say, oh, well, you'd, you'd do much better if you were sober. And I'd be like, nah, I can do it with my eyes shut. Do you think and that's true? Do you think that's true now? Oh, I don't know. I think it was pretty good, not to blow me on trumpet, Love it. You can't go back there now, can you? No. But it I was think, an experience, but... wasn't it? it I, I think it was a time in your life that you know that that was a chapter, isn't it, in the book of in the book of you? And I think yeah. I think it's great that you had that experience and that time and stuff. But Definitely. you're a different person now. Yeah. And I think yeah, yeah. I think sometimes it's like with everyone. It, there's remnants of. Of, of that person before, like with me, you know, there's remnants of the person that used to order yeah, um, the show through 10, 10 McDonald's when nobody else was watching and, and eat it. And yeah, well, you know, good riddance and, to those days. Yeah, like, you know, I think, I think to take every opportunity to, to um, keep all the best keep all the best bits of yourself and then them, them other bits just work on phasing them out and reintroducing better betterness at a time betterness betterness yeah well maybe this time it's just about the music and not about the, the music the drugs and the drink is that is that a is that a play just about the music no I think it's called <laughs> all about the music or something like that I'm sure Bruce Jenner, who's now Caitlyn Jenner, did a did a like a really camp yeah. film in the eighties. I know music is the answer. Don't stop the music. That's what it was called. Oh, don't stop the music. I've never actually seen it, but I know about it. Um. So yeah, I think I think I'm gonna try and try and avoid just scrolling through Instagram on the way home because obviously we haven't had um, signal for the last couple of days. Yeah, and Jim Bob needs company. Jim Bob needs company. <coughs> but I am I am going to be productive and um, make a, what's it called? Food plan? Meal plan? Meal plan. I'm going to make a meal plan. I'm going to put a little heart in my calendar of uh, tracking for exercising and sticking to a goal yesterday and just enjoy the journey home. We've got a fairly busy week, nothing too major. 
going on. Um, so yeah, just enjoy the last bit of sort of freedom kind of thing before we go home. I'm looking forward to finding my eye drops in a minute and having some time. Oh, you've got dry eyes. Very, yeah, don't cry, dry, dry yeah. yeah. sort of unpack unload get back to sort of like normal it's always a bit of a mission however the more we do it the more kind of like streamlined I'm finding like unpacking and unloading the van uh, Jim's just bobbed the van to the mechanic to get the little bit of like tinkering with the steering wheel that needs to be done done so yeah on the way back we did grab some lunch but I completely forgot to film it I ended up having a veggie chicken salad sub it was not it's obviously not the most healthy choice out there but given what was an option at the service station it was definitely the better option out of what was there so um, I'll show you the calories later when I finish up my day but yeah I'm all safe and sound and got quite a lot to do so I'm gonna crack on with unloading so we're pretty much all unpacked and everything and I actually, ooh, blurry, I actually came home to a delivery of some pumpkin spice coffee and some pumpkin spice like seasoning that on the back it says flavourful tips, uh, sprinkle on prepared oatmeal, you can make pumpkin spice pumpkin spiced pancakes you can use it to make coffee with as well um, and then like baking so if you make like a banana bread you can put some of this in it and it'll make it a bit more autumnal dare I say it so early I super love autumn it's one of my favorite well it is my favorite season um, I love all seasons actually all of them. I like the sun, I like the summer, I like the winter, but most mostly the autumn. Um, and I, I kind of just thought to myself, I'll be, I'll be prepared and I'll order a couple of things in because I'm usually not as prepared as this and September comes around and all this like pumpkin spice things in. Usually in TK Maxx and home, um, what's it called? Home Sense are usually all sold out. So, yeah, thought I'd order some. I don't know if I can resist waiting until like September to use them now, but we'll see. But we're about to do something pretty exciting. We're about to scratch off the Wainwrights that we've done. Yay! 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 Sorry, it's all not going right. Oh, it's not going right. <laughs> it, it, is, oh, no. it, it is, isn't it? Isn't it? It's okay. Fine. It's fine. So this is the map that we've got. And very nicely, we framed it, didn't we? Because it's a lovely Did we map. frame it or did... Oh, we definitely framed it. Or did we get it... it no, no, it, no, no, did, no, It didn't come framed? No. No. We framed it. Like, um, like we framed Roger Rabbit? Anyway, so I, I did a rather good job of framing it. Unfortunately, every time we do a Wainwright, every time we do a Wainwright, I don't want to have to do what I've just done, which is yeah, take but, the whole picture apart. So, but it means that we just have to do a fair amount before we get to scratch them off. Yeah. To make it worthwhile. That's right. So here they all are. There's two hundred and ten in total, I think. Is that right, Jim? 214. 200 and what? 14. 214 in total. Okay. Oh, yeah, he's right. Consult our little book. Okay. Let's <laughs> have a sit down for this. Yeah. I'm going to do it. I should down. 
So we've done Great Gable and Neighbours. Great Gable and Neighbours. Yes. Yeah. Amble side. Can you see where it is? I can't. I think I need to put my glasses. Oh, Dolly Wagon Pike I've just seen. So is it round here somewhere? Oh no, that one when we did Hell Valley and stuff. Oh. So Great Gable and Neighbours. Oh yeah, Great Gable. So base brown. Green Gable, Great, Great Gable, Gable, Brandreth, um, yeah. Charles Brandreth, Grey Knots. Grey Knots. So them ones need scratching. Are you going to let me do it? Yeah. Yay! I wonder what it's like underneath. Do you think it's just like it's as if it's the um, map? Ah, oh, no, it goes a different colour. You have to be very careful not to scratch the other ones off at the same time. <laughs> Uh, Green Gable Bandreth, yeah? Brandreth. 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 Like dandruff. <laughs> Grey knots. Oh, cool. Well, that's good. And what else? Base brown. And base brown. Yeah. And Great Gable. And Great. Oh, yeah, Green Gable. That's scratched off. Great. It's quite exciting, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You can do the next one. <laughs> and Grey Gable. Oh, there he is. There he is. It's like I've never even done it, isn't it? Because my memory <laughs> is so bad. So oh, I'll, that's good. Yeah, I'll show you where it's like. They go green. Look. Very obvious. I like that it's quite uh, distinctive between the ones that you've done and the ones that you haven't done. That's good, isn't it? Mm-hmm. So then, great ending Glar Glaramara, we just did Alan Craggs. Alan! 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 Mm -hmm. Craggs and Glaramara, didn't we? Yeah, there shouldn't be far. There's Alan Craggs. Yeah, so shall I do that? Yeah, go ahead. There's great end. We, we didn't, didn't do, do that. that. Oh, this one's orange! Oh, they're, they're colour-coded for the parts of the fells. Aren't they? Yeah. I like that. I like that all up. And Glaramara. It does make me think of Balamari as well for some reason. What's the story on Glaramara? Yeah. Uh, the story was. Do you know it's really weird because it kind of looks like you. sickness. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of looks like you should have done them at the same time, doesn't it? But they're not really in the same place. No, we'll see where it fell. We can do next time because mm -hmm. we'll do see where it fell and then great end. Yeah, I'm looking forward to doing great end. And then we've done. Burkhouse Moor, Helvellyn, Nethermost Pike and Dollywagon Pike. I just saw it. Where was it? So Burkhouse Moor is there. Okay. Helvellyn, Nethermost yeah. Pike, Dollywagon Pike. Okay. These ones are like. We've, we've done quite a few of these before actually. So we just thought we'd start again because then we've got the pleasure of doing this. Little I, things. although... I haven't, um, I don't think I've done any of the ones that we've done so far before. What's wrong? No, I was just thinking we did Castle Crag, didn't we? We've done that before. When did we do Castle Crag? On no, the 30th. No, yeah, I know. I'm saying, and we've done Scarfell and all them ones. I mean, so far, do you know all these ones that we've done? Oh, no, well, we're starting again, aren't we? Yeah, I know, but I haven't actually repetitively done any of them. They're all, they've all been, um, they've all been new for me so far. Yeah. Which ones have you, which ones have you, uh, done for the first time since we've started doing them again? Well, I don't know, because... Is it hard to remember with all your... Well, when you do coast to coast, you come over here, you see. Yeah. Um, 
You come over there first. Yeah, you know that. Yeah, I know, but I didn't think you went like, yeah, ignore me. That's Ennerdale Water, so you start off at Zembe's there and you go to Ennerdale Water. Do you want to show them? Mm -hmm. right, so you start off at St. B's, yeah, and then you come. Oh, it's a bit blur a little bit. Cleeter, Moro, Cleeter, Moro. Hang on, it's not, it's not a. All right. It's not focusing. We need to invest in a better camera for you. Ah, I love the sound of that. Right, go ahead, you can show okay, me. So you start off at St. B's, yeah. and you go through Cleeter, Moro, well, Cleeter, um, over, it's Dent. Dent Hill. Dent Hill. It's not on here. Uh, into Ennerdale Bridge. My battery's dying. Oh, is it? Um, and then you just come, you come I need through, to stop it and get come it through well. here, basically. Yeah, all the way. My shop. Right, I'll just change my battery yeah. while you. So we're currently scratching off our um, walks, fells, mountains, and whatnot that we've done so far. Yeah. Of our Wainwright scratch map, but. Um, my camera decided to have some memory card issues, so that's been deleted. So I'll just quickly show you. The ones that are in uh, the lovely different colours are the ones that we've done so far. So this is our scratch map and there's 214 Wainwright Fells mountain walks to complete. Yeah. Um, I guess we can scratch off the amount that we've bagged can't we so far yeah, so we go one two three <laughs> four five six seven eight nine ten ten and then we've done eleven and we? we've done one more oh brilliant we've not done bad to say we only started it a couple of weeks ago Exactly. Yay. Good, Turn it? down. Made that many to go. Made a bit of a dint. A little bit. But I'm enjoying it so far. So next time when we go up to our secret little campsite, I think <laughs> we ought to do Seathwaite Fell, Great mm -hmm. End. And then if we go up for a couple of days, we can actually do that Rosswaite Fell, can we? Yeah. Get most of this area done and ticked off. Yeah, there's Esk Pike as well, actually. Could probably do that. Could do C3, Great End, Esk Pike, and then come back down that valley, can we? Mm -hmm. That'd be good. It would be. I'm excited. Um, but yeah, that's cool, this, isn't it? I think it gives a, it's good because it gives us a uh, structure to the walks, like, like you said on the walk, uh, at the weekend, it it makes us do ones that we probably wouldn't have necessarily thought about doing. Because That's it, yeah. There's some that are just totally random, aren't there? <laughs> and you wouldn't necessarily think, oh, let's go do, I don't know, weather lamb. You Barra. Weather lamb. Weather lamb, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great fryer. Great fryer, yeah. Some funny ones. Um, or Dolly Wagon Pike, you know. Let's have a look. Trout bet tongue. Exactly. You'd think, oh, let's go do Scarfell Pike. Let's go do... Ah, oh, look. We're into the Sallows now. <laughs> <laughs> Some really funny names. Sour House. Mm -hmm. Yoke. Oh, the Yoke's on you. Froswick. Froswick. Yeah, so it's good It's good for that sense as well. Um, and it's quite fun. Uh, we, did, we have done a fair few of these before. We've already said this, but... My memory card decided to freak out. Um, what we, we also need to do is this come back and do this bit, isn't it? Sorry, I'm mm. going off. No, it's all right. It's okay. Um, yeah, we have done f some of these before. We've, I've done Scarfell before. Uh, Jim's did um, Helvellyn before. Obviously, we we did that one together recently. But we decided when we got the scratch map to just start again from the beginning and do them all all again so we're not scratching off the ones that we've already done we're waiting until we've redone them um but yeah just thought i'd show you our really cool scratch map yeah yeah so for dinner we've kind of tried to make a fajita salad i suppose like a fajita salad bowl and this comes in at 300 
and 61 calories if you want to see the breakdown for everything that's in here I'll include the recipe over on my picture of this on Instagram but yeah 361 calories for dinner so dinner was super yummy it felt like a last minute thrown together um, meal it was actually super super tasty um, so I've just made myself a Cadbury's Highlights hot chocolate with oat milk and I've actually put a tablespoon of pumpkin spice in. It took me all of a couple of hours to uh, resist having something pumpkin spice flavoured. Um, here it is. So I thought I'd just show you my calories for today and I've somehow managed to get it absolutely bang on 1300. Totally unplanned. <laughs> anyway. I'll just complete my diary for today. So if every day was like today in five weeks, I'd weigh 13 stone, 7.2. So that's it for this weekend's camping vlog, hiking vlog, what I eat vlog, all the things rolled into one vlog. Um, so if you've enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up because it really does make me smile. Uh, I'm not sure when I'll next be filming this week, but until then, Stay happy, healthy and well. Bye guys.